just us buying the shoes it's other people too <laughs> so we have to jump on it really really quick welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl coco styles and on this channel we talk about beauty fashion lifestyle and styling so it is that time again this month for my fashion radar from march so i am going to be doing these videos once a month solely because for the girls who are tall you already know we have to get started before all of the average height girlies so i have about five things on this list that are a mix of things simply because spring is not here fully winter is kind of going out and we're transitioning over to the new season i'm gonna jump into things that i got my eye on that i'm really thinking about getting i don't want to wait too long because you know if you wait too long if you got a bigger foot or wear a larger size in clothes you're gonna miss out <laughs> so the first thing is you guys already know i love jimmy choo but for a girl that wears a size 11 i have to size up literally to a size 13 with jimmy choo because their boots just their boots and shoes just run entirely too small and narrow for my feet so a size 13 essentially fits like an 11 <laughs> in my opinion so the first thing i absolutely have my eye on and thinking about getting are these jimmy choo blake 85 boots let me tell you i saw these boots probably like three weeks ago and i was like right here to get them to, well to getting them and i just started thinking about some other stuff that i have to do priorities ladies when you are an adult you can window shop all day <laughs> but if you have a goal in mind for something else you should just wait and just put it on your fashion radar and share it with your followers so these boots have a unique style i'm gonna pop in let me just slide over so you guys can see i'm gonna pop in a picture of the boots they have a beautiful black and white style and design absolutely love them they are a wedge boot so for those of you girls who do not like wedges these ain't for you but for those of you girls who don't mind a wedge and a little point and a sleek design these are for you now they do go up to, to a size 13 they do have a 13 um at the time of this video so i don't know if they only make one or two pairs i wish they would kind of say it on the website but they don't but if you do not wear 13 you should be okay with getting like an 11 or 12 um and if you wear a size 10 they usually have a bunch of those but for the 13 girls it's not just us buying the shoes it's other people too <laughs> so we have to jump on it really really quick but i ended up seeing karen brick chick with the boots on recently that's why i was like let me just add them to the video because they were already on my radar and she actually got a pair now i don't think i could pop in a photo of her with them on but i do recall seeing her in them probably for fashion week i'm almost 100 percent sure so the jimmy choo blake 85 boots are definitely on my radar the other item is gonna be the source unknown viral sweater all right the only reason why i haven't pulled the trigger yet is because it is a one size fit all sweater which i think is gonna fit my frame for the tall girls i think it will fit someone who's about 6'2 the sleeves look really long the only thing about the sweater is that the seam comes down because it comes off of your shoulder and if you like if your shoulders are broad the opening part may not fit you the same as someone who didn't have broad shoulders however the sweater is the bomb okay now monroe Monroe Steel, it looks like she purchased all of the colors. <laughs> and that is something that I would totally do, especially when I like something. Order them all just so you can have them. They look really thick from what I'm seeing on the website and on actual people. The first person I did see with this sweater was Aaliyah's face. Um, and that was on TikTok, I believe. I don't think I saw her on YouTube with it. But it's a really, really nice, unique sweater. So the Source Unknown Infamous Viral Sweater is definitely on my radar. Now, this item just came out. <sighs> okay, this is the Coach Tabby 26. They do have it in a 20. But for a girl who's tall like me, I would prefer something a little bit larger than the 20. And the 26 came out. 
The denim tabby is so freaking cute, guys. It's like the perfect denim blue. Also, at, well, at first, it wasn't even available in the US. I kid you not. I was looking, what's today? I think today's Sunday. <laughs> but I believe on Thursday, it was not showing up. Yeah, Thursday was not showing up on the US site in a, in a 26. I was only seeing it on the UK site. But then, my homegirl hit me up on Friday with the link like, hey, it's in stock. So I was like, perfect. And she's like, are you gonna get it? I am, this adult thing, I really want to get a specific bag. Um, so I'm kind of like chilling on things that I feel like are trendy, if that makes sense. For those of you girls know, who know, you know. It literally looks like a Chanel uh, classic flat bag. Um, just with the C on the front. It's really, really cute. If you don't like the size 26, definitely go for the 20. And I think there's a picture, I'm gonna see if I can find it, of the 20, I believe, maybe like an iPhone, like the largest iPhone could fit in there. I need a little bit more space than that just cause I got some big old hands and your girl be digging in and out of bags. I need to be able to get in. So, but the Coach Tabby Denim 26 is definitely on my radar and it's very, very affordable. So if you don't wanna spend too much on a bag, definitely think about getting this one. And from my understanding and what I'm hearing the girlies say, the stitching is really, really good on the back. So kudos to Coach on doing their big thing for the Coach Tabby Denim. All right, so for the girls who like a nice little clutch, Colt Gaia has really, really nice, unique bags. And I don't wanna say that they're cheap, but I think they're reasonably priced uh, for their brand. Um, and I came across this really nice clutch called the Lou Fringe Clutch. It's different. It's not like a... Um, your typical bag with like leather strings or whatever. It just has a really unique style and the size is perfect for someone who's of a taller frame. Listen, don't kill me guys because y'all already know how I feel about really tiny bags on tall people. It just doesn't look good in my opinion. We can get something just slightly bigger. If we're going to an evening event, yes, we can get a small little bag to carry, but like a regular size clutch, like when girls be going to brunch and stuff, I wouldn't do anything too, too small. But this is a perfect size clutch and it's beautiful and it's affordable. Now for those of you girls who don't know, I love light colors. I like ivories, taupes, um, creams, just I like the light colors. And I do eventually add in a pop, but I really like those neutral colors. It's just something about like colors and like clothing and stuff that I just like on my frame and my skin tone. So it's the same thing for bags. Um, but definitely check out Coke Gaia for their Lou Fringe Leather Clutch. And the last thing, okay, you guys already saw that I purchased the Good American Infamous Cargo Pants in like that grayish black color. But listen, if I'm gonna get one pair, I'm gonna get the other. The other pair is jet black. These pants are actually not denim. They're like a twill, they call them twill of fabric. So it's probably more on the khaki side, not super denim like the first ones. But girls, these go up to a 38 inseam. Hey, I don't know about you, <laughs> but if I can't find a pair of cargo pants that come that long, I don't want them. Now, I did hear the girl saying that Fashion Nova had really long pants. I've never purchased anything from Fashion Nova, but I know a girl who's about 6'5", she was able to find pants on there. So, for the brands who are not catering to the tall girls, you're doing yourself a disservice, okay? Because at the end of the day, here's the thing, just add in the extra size, long. Just add long or tall. Tall is more it's more fitting for tall women because certain things on the pants do actually fit us different. So here's an example from, if you go to Banana Republic and you find a pair of pants that say long, they're just gonna be long in length. If the pants have like distressed holes and stuff like that on a long pair of pants, the whole position is still gonna fit us a little awkward because it's just adding on the length, not necessarily meant for a tall frame. I hope that makes sense. So when you find something that has tall, the whole positions literally are positioned where they're supposed to be 
on a taller frame. Try it out when you're going somewhere if they have long versus tall. If you're tall, definitely figure out which one works best for you, but I'm almost 100% sure it's gonna be that tall pair as a, as opposed to that long pair. So yes, these lovely cargo pants from Good American is on my fashion radar, and I'm gonna get a pair. I need a blue pair. Now here's the thing, I don't know if they out of style, but I don't care. As long as they're long like that, like the first pair that I purchased, you guys already seen them in the last couple of videos ago, I'm, I'm fine with it. Like I said, for the tall, for the brands who actually do not cater to tall women, just make the pants a little bit longer. Shorter girls can always go get them tailored. We can't go to a tailor and say, add on some length. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we should have the option as well to wear some of these stylish things. But those are the items that are on my radar for this March. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you are tuning in to next month what's on my radar in fashion for april so thank you guys for tuning into this video if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles nyc and coco styles ny and my personal style blog coco styles nyc and my style services coco styles ny.com and i'm on tickety tickety talk coco styles nyc and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys